Welcome back, everybody, for another scenario in the Imjin War. Last time, uh, we had quite the scenario with uh, the Day of Doom. That was really hard, but we got it done. And next up, we have a Crane's Wings, which is also apparently supposed to be hard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Joseon didn't have anything to do against skilled and trained Japanese troops. Japanese troops eventually captured Seoul, the capital city of Chosun, and even Pyongyang, another grand city in the north. King Sonjo even considered to flee to the Laodong province of China. <clears throat> Little headless guy right there. However, there was a man who proclaimed who proclaimed fight against them. His name is Yi Sun Shin, one of the admirals of Chosun. He showed great tactical intuition and leadership early. He also had turtle ships, a new kind of warship. Turtle ships were slow but fortified and stable. He led his navy to the southern part of the Korean peninsula. Uh, they met some enemies, but they won against them all. Later, uh, they got near Hansan Island. Japanese navy wanted to reach the west sea of the Korean peninsula from the east. Admiral Yi planned to defeat them. Honestly, the, the maps are pretty well drawn. Uh, there were a lot of islands, uh, so it's so that the terrain was complicated. They have to recapture the sea and, so as to get to Busan. Uh, so it could not be more important to defeat the enemies. Yeah, there are a bunch of islands off the southern coast of South Korea. Oh, just Korea. North Korea doesn't really have a southern coast. It just has the DMZ. I should know. I've been there. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, okay. There's only four players in this one. Uh, destroy Japanese docks. Okay. Straightforward. Uh, population limit of 200 and can advance to the Imperial Age. At first, fortify your coastal uh, defense so that you can set your naval force stably. Most battles occur on the sea, so you'll need to focus on the navy. Your starting point has small territory and limited resources, so just expand to other islands. Um, yeah, yeah, just lots of lots of expanding. Uh, it's more economical to get food from fishing ships and fish traps rather than building farms that require large fields. However, be careful of enemy attacks. Uh, the best way to weaken the enemy's fierce attacks is by cutting their supply off. The Chosan Navy, led by Yi Sun Shin, uh, the commander of the Chola Left Navy, uh, has set their camp uh, on Miruk Island. Uh, there's the Hansan Island to the east and the Hua Island at the center of the map. These islands are not populated uh, so that there are many wild animals. The villages of Chosan occupied uh, the Japanese on the west land of the map. Uh, they periodically supply materials for the Japanese Navy. They've managed to... They're managed by Japanese patrollers. We ought to defeat them to uh, free the village. And there's the Japanese Navy, led by the head... Led by... Wakizaka Yasuharu! On Koche Island to the far north. They have multiple docks, and yeah. Alrighty, another naval scenario. Well, last one wasn't a naval scenario at all. A naval scenario! Uh, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, what was it, the fourth scenario in the Tomislav campaign? You know, we have this little starting area land. We gotta strike out at sea. Let's get gill nets. But we can certainly make good use of Korean naval defenses here, I believe. Moksu. Lots of shorefish we can also take. And of course, we will, we will be making plenty of turtle shrimp. So do we get Admiral Yi himself? Doesn't look like it. I'm sure we'll get him by the end. Map isn't too big. Are they an Imperial Age? Of course they are. Alright, we'll do some scouting around. Of course, grab the relic. You. Namukun. I mean, we have a pretty decent starting area. Looks like this is a little island with a decent amount of gold. Just kill these two bears. Hopefully, our conscience will be able to bear it. Okay, 
Alrighty. Let's see what else is going on. I don't know how rigorously, or I guess vigorously, we'll get attacked, but yeah, we'll see soon enough. Because right now I just kind of want to boom, because I always do. Also because we have lots of resources nearby. Get those. I mean, we have a pop limit of two hundo. Got quite a lot going on. Oh yeah, like all these little islands are going to be fantastic uh, for potential towers. Seems like this is our whole little starting area. Yeah, here's the occupied Chosan village. So uh, make a transport and a s send our light cav over. I'm sure in this campaign we will be very happy at several points that Koreans now have elite cannon galleons. Thanks to Ornlu in large part, let me remind you guys. I uh, have been an advocate for a, a little while. It's like one of those minor things, but I, I, don't, I thought that Koreans should get Elite Cannon Galleon because, I mean, one, they obviously have a good gunpowder. They have a gunpowder unique unit with the turtle ship. And it also is really important for Korean mirrors on islands if you've ever had the uh, fortune to play one of those. Stash is, of course, very excited. Uh, because Korean towers outrange regular cannon galleons, and they match the range of bombard cannons. Well, they, they match the range of cannon galleons and bombard cannons, uh, even with siege engineers. Uh, it becomes almost like impossible to close out a game. Towers just sink everything. Anyway, these seem pretty undefended. Did I? Okay, I thought I had a fishing ship there. Anyway, there should be, seem to be plenty of resources. Let's, let's get a castle on our starting island. But yeah, that one's gonna go down. This is rather promising. Obviously, we, we will be making plenty of our Kobukson turtle ships. Not too sure what that was. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound promising. That's like the opposite of promising sounding. We've destroyed one dock of the enemy. Ha ha. Oh, yeah. I should also mill over here. I mean, there's a lot of just juicy, juicy fish. Now, I've been to the seafood market in Busan, and we're not too far away from it. It's the, as the falcon flies. And uh, they eat lots of seafood there. Also, they uh, at, at, at the restaurant I went to, it, it had very fresh seafood, so fresh that it was still alive when it was served. I mean, it wasn't... You didn't eat it when it was alive. Like, you didn't eat it live, but, uh... You did just kind of watch it steam in front of you, which I found, uh, incredibly off-putting. And I left. <laughs> oh, man. I had many wonderful experiences with the many delicious, uh food items that I found when I was in Korea. Korean food. Really good, in general. Not my favorite, though. Yeah! Let's get up song for our towers. 
And we do need to be clicking up to Imperial Age in the not too too distant future. Oh, we start with Bombard Cannons. I forgot about that. I mean, there are tons and tons of resources on these little islands. Grab that relic. But I hear attacky sounds. Oh, whoa, 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 uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, spaghetti. Oh. Uh, let's get some war wagons. Okay, let's get some towers. I knew things were looking a little too good to be true. Let's get some more war galleys on the field. Of course, they have post imp upgrades, because why wouldn't they? Uh, let's uh, get heated shot. A little late, though, it may seem. Oh no. Surigon. Well, that could have gone better. But you know, you live and you learn, except for those villagers, because they definitely didn't live and therefore did not have the opportunity to learn. Also, that entire starting army I had, those guys are pretty dead. Uh, I'm gonna need some turtle ships to deal with fast fire ships. Remember, Koreans don't have demo ships. However, if we can fight under the protection of some of our towers, then I think we might be able to salvage the situation. Actually, I kind of like the scenario concept. Like I said, it reminds me of Tomislav 4, and I really like that scenario. Like the whole little island hopping thing. Yeet! No, that's Vietnamese, or those are Vietnamese units. Oh, they're so slow! If you remember, there used to be a unique tech for Koreans called Panok Song. Panok Song. Which is a sail. Uh, it used to increase the speed, movement speed of turtle ships. Now, uh, it's replaced by the extra tower range of Up Song. But, uh... The actual speed increase is now just for elite turtle ships. So it's just a benefit you get with the elite turtle ship upgrade. Anyway, shouldn't be too far away from clicking up to Imp. Get him! I get it! No! Rip. Oh! Get it! Get it! Wait, where is it landing? Haha, -ha, I blocked it! Anyway, let's click up to Imp. Uh, should I make some fire ships? Might not be a bad idea. Oh, can I not even reach that? Okay. Let's get some villagers over to these islands. You haven't done too much scouting. stone over here. We can take that. Could also re rebuild my fishing fleet a little bit. Wait, what? Oh, I had another. Okay. 
Now I'm running out of space just a little bit. Uh, let's fall back. We're almost to Imperial Age. Oh, get it, get it. Got it. Yeah, this scenario is definitely all about using the power of Korean naval defenses. And they are pretty sick. This tower is a teeter shot. Even without Imperial Age, are doing a ton of work. Those elite cannon galleons? Well, don't know. I would assume so. Alright. Instantly get galleon, shipwright, bracer, and chemistry. Get some more villagers. Oh yeah, I forgot about the, the Japanese patrols here. Oh yeah, they, they supply re, uh, resources. Resources. So, a bunch of champions, a bunch of samurai, that whole sort of thing. Uh, we'll just kind of queue up some war wagons in the background. Arrow slits. Let's grab the dry dock. Let's start working our way towards that dock. And now we can fight them. that. Send some more villagers over. So they keep training more war wagons. And things are honestly not looking half bad. destroyed another dock of theirs. All right, turtle ships, time to shine. Oh, okay, maybe not shine that much. Still, we need to wait a little bit longer for some more uh, true shining. Where's my market? Oh, I guess. Oh, that's a bottomed out wood price. Let's get elite. And run away! Sail away, I suppose! Oh. Well, gotta pick up these stone miners. I hear dolphin sounds. Oh, we can leave some more stone miners over that way. I mean, that is quite a hefty navy. I don't know if I just said this. I feel like I could have just said this. I, I thought about it. Uh, I like how, like, the design of turtle ships in that they fulfill a completely unique role within the Korean navy. And it's not like uh, caravels and longboats, which are more or less just a one-to-one -one replacement of the galley line. You don't usually use them in uh, concert with one another. At least not with for any, like... A special tactical purpose. Anyway, Cannon Galleon. More turtle ships. More of everything. Oh yeah, I should get two mansaw. Yeah. Lots of resources over here. Look at these elite turtle ships and all of their turtleiness. Okay, now to press forward.
Oh, the Scouting Galleon, the classic. Yeah, we have so much stone. I'm glad. Th I'm really glad that they're not uh, skimping out on the stone they give us. Like, come on, we're Koreans. We're supposed to have lots of stone to work with. Ah, some fishing ships. Maybe we're getting closer to home. Well, relatively speaking, we are still in Korea. Go, my turtle ships! Oh, the bears! Look at those towers go. Ooh, Yasuma keeps. Now, Yasuma keeps are still scary, but remember that Japanese do not themselves have arrow slits. They're not arrow slits, they have arrow slits. They have two arrow slits, in fact. Uh, Yasuma means uh, arrow slits in Japanese. Uh, they don't have heated shot. Onward and upward. Yeah, we really don't need much more food income. Ooh, another relic. We do have a little, little bit, a little bit of an idle villager issue. Ah, that's a castle. That is definitely something we need cannon galleons for, but that's why I made some. Oh, let's start with that tower. Let's not stand under castle fire. Sail under it. Whatever. That transport is not destined for greatness. Go, turtle ships! I freaking love these units. There's another relic here. Oh, whoops. It's fine. These villagers planned on tower rushing anyway. Oh, I should get those guys. I guess there's another little island over there. But, I mean, we have this whole area quite, uh, safe. One of those guys. I don't know how you got there, but sure. Press forward! My finger may have been hovering over the delete button out of laziness. I will confess it. Oh! Curses. Uh, I assume there are more docks over here. I mean, there's still a lot of docks left, actually. No! Crap! Another relic right there. I 
Anyway, we seem to be doing work over here. Why am I still even gathering food? I'm not using it on, like, literally anything. I don't know, let's grab a war wagon. Now the real thing we need are Fatorias, man. Kappa. Anyway, let's see if these guys are enough to take down that village. I think, yeah, I think this is probably just a bunch of production buildings. Definitely seems to be more navy stuff coming from over here. I mean, yeah, these towers are just doing so much work. Okay, more docks. More turtle ships. Our idle villager count's actually looking somewhat reasonable. Well, it's still over 10, which is probably way too much at this stage of the game for a player who's theoretically at my skill level. Uh, more gold over here. Uh, what's over that way? Hey, let's also attack over here. Are those enemy towers? Yeah, those are enemy towers. Eh, go for it. Oh. I never got murder holes? Fail. It's actually one of those times where it is a very helpful upgrade. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Literally the one that's right in the middle of the map. And we just got it. Sick. That wasn't as hard as the last one. That was nowhere near as hard. I mean, it was a little scary after the push, first push, I will admit. But, you know, we were able to make it work. Admiral Yi's navy enclosed their enemies with their ship's spread. The Joseon navy had one thing that gave them advantage, which was that they had a lot of cannons. Uh, though Japanese operated matchlocks, they didn't use cannons for practicality. However, Joseon was already using cannons actively as that they could get advantages in firing. Yi's naval ships surrounded Japanese ships and bombarded and bombarded them together. Numerous Japanese soldiers died, and many Japanese ships wrecked. Wakizaka Yasuharu, who led the Japanese navy, lost his ship and managed to survive by being on an empty island. It said he survived only on seaweeds. On the other, on the one hand, after seizing the sea, Yi moved forward near to Busan and conquered the sea. Two, after Toyotomi uh, heard it, he ordered his troops not to fight on the sea. Supplies. To them, from Japan, were cut off after the battle, and Japanese troops in deeper areas became isolated as well. Indeed, indeed. The problem that the Japanese had was they couldn't, uh... What the heck is that? They couldn't establish a good supply line. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So the occupied Chosan village is just constantly giving resources to the Japanese force, so I guess if you just, uh... You know, attack them. Attack and free this earlier then you can uh, probably all of this will go to you. Anyway, it looks like they just had a regular base over here. 
Actually, it kind of probably looks like they didn't have infinite resources. Honestly, fun little scenario. You know, you got uh, it did a good job showing the uh, the power of Korean towers and turtle ships on the water, fighting in these more smaller, narrow choke points. Yeah, fun fun scenario. Definitely enjoyed it. Anyway, that was a crane's wings. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And next up will be George R. R. Martin finally finishes A Wind of Winter. No, not the same thing. See you guys then.